What do you mean I can't have children? Hey, it's Jose and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Jose J. Thomas and I am from the beautiful Caribbean island of Dominica. I am a scholar and I'm currently enrolled in a Master's of Business Administration program at Hampton University. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is centered around my life, um, being a scholar, being an academic, all that jazz. So this is actually part two of a previous story, story time and the first story time is about when I um, overdosed which leads into this story time and this story time is I was diagnosed with endometriosis and got some very crippling news about whether or not I will be able to have children. So I would suggest you listening to part one, which is my overdose story time first, and then listening to this story time. He starts saying words like fibroids, and he starts saying words like endometriosis, and he starts saying words like infertility. I'm 24. <laughs> so with that said, let's jump straight into the story time. So I'm at the emergency room. They get asked me questions. And they get to the root cause of why I overdose on prescription pain medication and it is because I have painful periods and so they had to do an ultrasound on top of my stomach and they really wanted to do an intravaginal ultrasound and I was like no and I was just not comfortable with that. Uh, at the time like my doctor at the at the emergency room was throwing out words like endometriosis fibroids cysts infertility and asking me a lot of family questions like was I married did I have a boyfriend did I consider having children have I ever been pregnant and really questions that were like preparing me that I had all the symptoms of having something wrong with my reproductive system and that kind of freaked me out so in the emergency room they did the ultrasound on top of my stomach and by the grace of god everything came back normal however they recommended that i go see a specialist because they didn't want me to overdose anymore and they wanted me to correct the issue when i called the gynecologist um, they didn't have anything available for three months so I had to wait and in that time obviously I'm going to see my menstrual cycle so you am before I could go see my doctor in those three months I was absolutely miserable like absolutely I was so sad I was crying I was just like what do you mean I can't have children I decided that I should go to the emergency room so that they could give me the um, injection or put it in my IV or, or something so I went and um, they gave me in the span of four months I've had three narcotics and one um, opioid for pain because that's the only thing that works for for the level of pain that I have and all of that is basically designed to create a junkie a drug addict and i don't want to be a drug addict i don't want to be a junkie and at the time i didn't know that the medications they were giving me were actually narcotics um it's not until i went to my gynecologist that he told me and he told me that those are highly addictive and i will talk about that in a separate story time so i finally get him to go to the um doctor and he lets me know that the only way to diagnose endometriosis is two ways the old way and the new way so the old way is that you would have to have surgery they go in with the laser at the end of the tube and they say oh yes you have endometriosis but it's likely to grow back and the second way is to um do an intravaginal um, ultrasound and they could kind of see and um, you would the old way you could still have surgery but he says that he doesn't recommend it especially for somebody of my age and altogether it's a little unnecessary because um, he could solve it with hormone therapy 
which is birth control. The formal definition for endometriosis is it is a disorder in which tissue that normally lines the uterus grows outside of the uterus. With endometriosis, the tissue can be found on the ovaries, fallopian tubes, or intestines. So basically, from my understanding, I am not a doctor, but from my understanding, what it is is um, the tissue that is supposed to be in your uterus grows outside of your uterus, and um, when you have your menstrual cycle, it bleeds as normal outside of your uterus, so it makes the entire process painful, and the blood cannot escape, so the blood is just there so you are susceptible to getting infections and all this jazz and it makes it even more painful so when I went in I had to do the intravaginal scan this is this story times are so TMI but I hope you guys are learning from my experience and if you have symptoms like this go to your gynecologist girl go to your gynecologist so anyways I do the intravaginal ultrasound, which sucks, by the way, very much. He wanted to see if my uterus, my uterus tissue was growing on my ovaries, on my bladder, or on my fallopian tube, which would need a more aggressive solution and would really um, say if I was infertile or not. When he was talking to me, he was asking about if, you know, I wanted to have children, what was my situation, if I was married, if I was dating somebody, and I don't have no man. Let's put that out there. Period. Period. Nothing left to say, like, period. 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 <laughs> period. Yeah. period. period. But before I even went into my gynecologist, I already was prepared if I was quote unquote infertile or my endometriosis was a bad um that would make it a possibility that I would be infertile I was already prepared that I was gonna skirt my eggs and save them okay I know that's right <laughs> I know that's right babe gotta gotta go and prepare it okay went ahead number one and diagnosed me um, clinically with endometriosis because I did not have the surgery and I don't want to have those scars on my tummy if it's not necessary and my doctor let me know that he doesn't think it's necessary but I was clinically diagnosed with endometriosis and that part sucks but the results guys the results of my um, intravaginal scan showed that there is he couldn't see let me see that he couldn't see again i'm not a doctor but he couldn't see any um uterus tissue on my ovaries thank jesus on my bladder thank jesus or on my fallopian tubes thank you jesus which means that i am a likely fertile Thank you, Jesus. Even though I always said I did not want to have children, this experience, like being scared with the possibility of being infertile at only 24 years old, I definitely reconsidered. And with the strong support of my mother, she really, really, really wants me to have children someday. And with the strong support of my mother and my family, I have reconsidered. I'm not saying that I'm, I'm going to have children. I'm not saying that I'm planning. And my doctor, for my case, told me that he recommends I get some birth control and I do the hormone therapy and that will help with my periods, make them less heavy, make them less painful, and all that jazz. Yeah, your girl is fertile, myrtle, Fertile like Myrtle. <laughs> um, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not gonna take that for granted anymore. And for me, especially since I'm so young and I'm so liberal-minded, and I'm a I'm a feminist. I, I I believe in women's movements and like I believe in that stuff. You know, being faced with a part of your womanhood that is so crucial to identifying as a woman 
really shocked me. I'm not gonna lie, it really did. Because when I thought that I could have children, I was very much like, I don't wanna have children. Like, I'm gonna be that woman that chooses not to have children. Forget the patriarchy. Like, I was in that space. And I think that decision when I made it, I really made it when I was like 13, very young. When I made that decision that I didn't wanna have children, I think it, I was in the right mind space, you know, but it's a whole different ball game when somebody removes that option for you. Like I wanted to be able to like reject that part of my womanhood, not have it like stolen from me, if you understand what I'm saying. Because, you know, as a woman, for me, I just felt like I'm a woman and I want to be, I want to be an amazing woman. I am super self-aware. I want to be so decisive in my character and my womanhood and all this jazz and I want to inspire young girls and I'm like, I want to be that woman that's gonna achieve all her dreams and not have a child and stuff. But when that doctor said that big eye will, when that doctor looked at me and said infertility, when that doctor looked at me and said like, you know, tell me your home life, and the fact that I don't have no man <laughs> and I'm back in school and like I wanna go It scared me. It scared me. So I'm just gonna end this video by saying I have reconsidered <laughs> my reproductive rights and I would encourage everybody out there to go to your gynecologist Go to your gynecologist gynecologist if you have symptoms like me, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, comment, share, subscribe.